GCOC 11 uh, deals with all things about properties of quadrilaterals. And um, the idea is, is that there are families of quadrilaterals that share commonalities. And so part of the investigation is to determine which properties are held by certain um, quadrilaterals. And we, we learn that the word parallelogram and this shape and its properties holds kind of some very specific properties. But there are groups that are even more specific and so on. And so the idea is that if, if we think about uh, the properties of a parallelogram, let's say this is a Venn diagram of all the quadrilaterals. Now everybody, squares, rectangles, trapezoids, uh, and convex, concave, everybody's in here. Somewhere in here there's a family called the parallelograms. And uh, this group have certain properties and relationships. Now, you will have investigated that it has some of those properties. For instance, opposite sides are equal, opposite angles are equal, consecutive angles add to 180, and diagonals bisect each other. So everybody in this boundary has those properties. But some in that boundary are even more specific. Some not only have um, uh, these properties, but all four of their angles are equal. That is a rectangle. A rectangle is defined by a quadrilateral with uh, four right angles. And so it has four right angles, and so it uh, is it has got all of these properties, you'll learn, and even more specific. And so here's our rectangle family. Well, guess what? The rhombus is in here too. It's uh, a type of parallelogram, the rhombus. And you'll notice that when I drew it, I, I, I intersected it with the rectangle group. Because there's one group that can have four right angles and four equal sides. And it lands right in this region, and that, of course, is the square. The square is the most specific type of parallelogram because it has the parallelogram properties, but it's got the rhombus properties, it's got the rectangle properties, it's got everybody's properties. And so the idea of this is just to organize uh, who's got what properties and show their relationship one to another. So we just looked at a bunch of properties and this worksheet really is just you getting used to those properties and getting a sense of how things are related. Um, first of all, each shape has a definition and you know the crazy thing about math is that definitions kind of change a little bit from textbook to textbook, but uh, which shouldn't in my belief, but first of all a parallelogram is a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral, where there are two sets of opposite sides that are parallel. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four congruent angles. Now, this is the, these are the ones that could vary. This could just say a quadrilateral with four congruent angles or with four right angles. There's a couple of different ways that one gets said. Uh, a parallelogram with four congruent sides. And then square just ultimately is both the rectangle, four equal angles, and the rhombus, four equal sides. Now those definitions lead us to a lot of property concepts. Um, let me just talk to you about the big idea here, is that these four properties of the parallelogram, they continue through all of the other shapes because the other shapes are a type of parallelogram. So uh, opposite sides are congruent, and opposite angles are congruent, and diagonals uh, bisect each other, and also the consecutive angles uh, are supplements. Those four properties exist in the rectangle, the rhombus, and the parallelogram. Uh, sorry, rectangle, rhombus, and square because they are types of parallelograms, specific types. 
Then we start to see new properties arrive, and they're usually about the diagonals. Actually, the new properties are about the diagonals. A rectangle has congruent, uh, uh, the, sorry, congruent diagonals. Um, it's also true just by definition that it has four congruent angles, right? So this is true here, and we notice that it appears again in the square. So those same two properties show up in the square. The rhombus gains some new properties about its diagonals. The uh, diagonals are perpendicular. The diagonals are angle bisectors. And uh, a rhombus, by its definition, has four congruent sides. Those are unique to the rhombus, but exist in the square. So, again, what I'm trying to help you to understand is that these properties can be easily remembered if you know of how they relate to each other. That's why the Venn diagram of parallelogram and then rhombus and rectangle and square makes sense because inside this circle, if it's the parallelogram circle, all of those four properties exist for everybody, all of those guys, and then some of them are shared and some of them are not.